What up, y'all, and welcome to the International Ghoul Podcast. I'm your ghoulish host, Jamie Madrox. And joining me, as always, is Blaze Your Dead Homie. Yes, it is. How you, How you doing, y'all? What up, though? Mm. What's going on, man? Uh, man, I've been I've been on a, on a mission. I've been awake for probably the longest. I've been awake in a, in a good while. I, I, I woke up this morning, and I just got after it. Damn, I was really? like, I'm going to do all of my little my little shit that I got to do for today now. And then after, after our shows today, then, then I'm going to do some extra special stuff that I've been putting aside. Just trying to get after the day, man. And I just, I am, I have been drinking coffee in the green room since three. (laughs) It's two, you idiot. I'm finally feeling it. Right. Three last night. No, yeah, no doubt. Um, we got a great show for you guys. We got a bunch of fun topics. Um, before we go anywhere with anything, I want to say that we're actually going to, uh, we, we, have a, we have a fun Ghostbuster conversation and we're, we're going to bring our boy Mike on. We, we'll get to that coming up. Um, yeah. And we got some other stuff to talk about. So first of all, I want to jump into some news. I just, let's let's lay the foreground down. Today, Lex the Hex Masters Party Castle EP is now available. Everybody, if you didn't get your pre-order, head on over to MNE Store, shop.com. And, uh, and, and get, it. Yeah, get it. Yeah, MNE Store.com. Absolutely, man. Yeah. And and by the way, we've been saying, we've been explaining. I just, I like to, I like to reiterate a lot of these things because I want people to understand fully. This is part one of a four part series that uh, Lex is putting out. And um, this is just the first offering. And so oh, far yeah. what I've heard, right, right. And so far what I heard, man, everything is like sounding real oh. good. So I'm, I'm excited yeah. for the release. I, I, I was fair. I'm not opening mine until after the podcast. We're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crack open the cellophane and I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to listen to it with y'all, man. We all going to listen up, to it. Man. Gotta, yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. That's what's up. That's how um, you um, Yeah, man. We got uh, we got AMB's Fatality EP is available now, uh, yep, as yep. well as Alazul Elu's Necrochronicon. Now that's the new collector's vinyl available. Um, mm-hmm. I'm just I'm, I'm covering the board. I want to make sure that I tell yeah. you about some of the cool shit because no. I don't know. I don't know how you get your news. Maybe you get it from us. Maybe you get it from the interwebs. We don't know. But once upon a time back in the days, we were the only source you got your news from. So I feel obligated to touch on everyone respectfully so they know what they got going on too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and continue my news then. Uh, no. on June nineteenth. Which is literally like, <laughs> yes, it's literally like days away. Uh, June nineteenth, uh, the tenth anniversary celebration of Blaze's Gang Rags with um, it's it the double there. God damn, there it goes. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, now tell them about it. that's that is that is a uh, Vanna White that motherfucker. That is a double vinyl available in five different random vinyl colors. Okay, and as well as limited re-released on CDs. Now I don't know if I can confirm this or not. We'll we'll, we'll touch back on this when we have Mike on. But I think from what yeah. I understand is the re-release on CDs is a limited pressing. So I don't know how long there's gonna last last on. So 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 don't be don't be waiting and squandering your opportunity to get one before the getting is all gone. No, so, even so, be there's waiting, that. Man, I'm saying, no. tell him, dog. For real. Tell him. Yeah. Okay, and then and then. We got some products and projects on the horizon, yes. uh, including, in no particular order, Boondocks' Crimson Crow. The new record will be available soon. Blaze Your Dead Homies' new project will be available soon as well. More details on that to come. Um, in other news, on Amazon right now, you can pre-order uh, the Twisted Mad Season Collector Blood Red Vinyl. That's got a release date of July 10th. Yep. Um, Amazon.com to pre-order that motherfucker right now. Yeah. And no, then no, lastly, Amazon. yeah, man. And lastly, uh, the action figures coming from Knuckleheads very soon. So keep your eyes peeled on that. I got more shit. I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep blasting with it so I make sure we get all of it in. Um, in other yeah. news, our, our, our look. <laughs> our little homie Stevie, little horror Stevie, is raffling off a painting from yours truly. And yeah. uh to support mental health awareness. So to participate, head over to Horror Stevie at Horror Stevie's IG page. Click the link in his bio to donate. It's five dollars, and um, that automatically enters you into the raffle. So if it you're does. interested in the painting or just interested in stopping by and and supporting, nevertheless, hit up at Horror Stevie. He's a little cool dude, and um, and yeah, man, that's 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 pretty awesome of him to be doing some cool shit. It is. So, 
That's it up, is, man. man. It is. Because think so, about it, man. You know, like, yeah. like we used to, yeah, man. All right. It's, 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 a couple times. He's cool. I'm saying, dog, but, cool. but kids on kids today are just such on another level. And it's just, it's, it's, it's good. It's, 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 it's pretty cool to see them just out there doing something. You know, right. um, in other news, uh, uh, let's see here. Um, what have we got? Oh, did anyone ever try that that KFC chicken sandwich? In the comments, if you're if you're watching right now, uh, especially especially Ohio or no, was it Orlando, Orlando, Florida, especially Orlando, Florida. If y'all oh, out there man. and you, uh, right. I'm saying we never we never got any confirmation that it actually did exist. I, we reported on it either, but I I mean I read the same news that you did, so I would assume Absolutely. that it was, you know some crazy, but may, you never Absolutely. know. Absolutely. So I want to know. So if you're in, if you're out there and you actually did taste it, someone said they had what? There you uh, go, uh, Mermaid. Mermaid B. B said she had it. Had uh, it. Tell it. Was it had good? It. We want to know. Good. In, not good. Better than in, my eyes. Let us know. <laughs> in comparison, yes, I want to know. Like like <laughs> better like than people play, even. People want to fucking know, dude. Yeah. They want to know. Especially okay. Us. Yeah, especially us. Man, we got some shout outs. Uh, uh, Europe is in the high right now. Tori and Kelly listening together from separate locations. Always yeah. watching each and every week. Props to y'all. And a happy uh, 32nd day of birth to everyone's fave homie. Happy birthday, motherfucker. Yeah. So, so there go that. That's my shit. And then, oh. and then I wanted to dip into... A random question just to flip it. You ready? All right. This is gonna be for you most mostly because this this shit really does. I mean, it's random as fuck for me, but it just okay. What video games do you enjoy? Oh, I don't know, man. There's a lot random of random as fuck. That are out there. I use I've used to I, I've been through different phases, I guess. Because mm. I remember a time where I was playing nothing but like uh Grand Theft Auto. When it was San Andreas, and then I went all the way into the next one, and I was playing that a bunch too. And then I moved on from that, but usually I always stuck to like sports games. But then for right. like the last couple years, I haven't bought any games at all. I just haven't hooked my system up. But I had Red Dead Redemption, which I started oh, yeah. it up, but it is time consuming, so I don't get enough on it because it's just like you. You try to work and do, you know, you're doing a lot of different, so you're not, there's not as much time for that anymore. But, um, yeah. you know, I like all types of different things, man. Like somebody gave me a game that I have yet to put in. And I know he's told me it is the greatest game ever. Greatest horror game. It is called The Suffering. And I wow. put it in because it's, it's on an old platform, though. It's like on an old PlayStation 2. It's before, Damn. You know, so, but you can play those so on PlayStation a- 3, which I have. Okay, I do have a three, so I'm gonna put this game in and hook it up and check it in because because I'm telling you, I think this is probably the next thing that I'm have to look at because there's a lot of games like a lot of games that do pass me by are first person shooter games. I just don't, mm-hmm. I I don't know. I, I think my so I think like, it's it's too much movement on the screen where I, everything just is, you know, target passion. games like every like like the shit that from like the expensive games of Chuck E. Cheese that were like three dollars instead of a, a dollar, like the yeah, target yeah, games, sure. and you just sit there whacking shit out, right? Yeah, essentially. That, I mean, that's you know, that's, dope, like, that's the type of stuff. It's like sometimes the games are a little more like you know. So I like I like a lot of sporting games, but I do I like you were gonna go with games. Duck Hunt. He's like, I'm a simple guy. I'm a Duck Hunt guy. Yeah. <laughs> but no, listen, Duck but there's there, there, there's, another, there's another there's another extended it, part to that question. Yeah. There's another extended part to that question. What <laughs> what game system? What game system as well? I think you covered that, but just in case it was it, it, and growing up somehow was in there as well. It was wow. what video game do you enjoy? I mean, or I, did enjoy growing up, and what game systems? I, it's Tap. really crazy because you know I have a extended. I have an extended large family. You know this, so mm-hmm. uh, I did have. I had to experience games from all types of like my brother used to have like That's the dope. in television type stuff. And then like one year for Christmas, we got Nintendo and it was like the jam, bro, for years and years, years until you know you got older, you could check out Sega. And then it was like so I was oh, yeah. a gamer. I would every time something new would That's come out, I'd be looking for the next one. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I sure. had like the Dreamcast. I mean, you were with me for some of the stuff. You seen absolutely, me the absolutely. Dreamcast, I, the <laughs> Xbox 360, you know, the Xbox normal one, and then the 360. Sure. Then the, 
you know, now the one. It's like, it's you know, crazy I'm how many. stuck with that mostly, but I did try to always do I always had PlayStation 2 for some reason. I had PlayStation 1, I had PlayStation 2, I had the PSP, I had the uh I just had the PlayStation uh three. I still got that. I just didn't Damn. get the one. I didn't I, I stopped after the three and Xbox three or Xbox One for some reason. That was where I was at. So yeah. No shit. Wow. I man. was gonna say I think uh as far as for me, I, I I'm not really much of a game player, but but back in the days it was when you said Sega, that was a tab me in. Mm -hmm. It was Sega Genesis for for Christmas one year I had gotten a Sega Genesis and I believe I got Altered Beast and Final Fantasy and something and Shinobi. Great game, and Shinobi. My game, my I game spread right was there. Bala. Li insane. Insane. Listen, and, and somehow awesome. here's a here's a fun, here's a fun, really crazy fact that um Paul and Brian used to come over and would would like literally stay the weekend and we would play Final Fantasy and to this day that is the greatest this, listen listen how fucking crazy this is this shit <laughs> this shit is insane we had notes we had a spiral notebook that we were keeping like track of where mm -hmm. we had the villages we had visited, who had the keys or whatever, whatever. Yeah, you, you got to remember relics. that. You got to go back through. You don't want to go to the Man. same shit again. You're like, Dude, fuck that. Fucking, we found a map. Dude, I, it was like Paul or somebody we ended up finding like, oh, I got a map. Blah, blah, blah. We had, we, we had templates and shit. Oh, Man, yeah. it, was, it was fucking... <laughs> Probably some of the greatest, some of the greatest times that I've ever had playing a game because it was just so much more than like Altered Beast is just like whatever X Y. You're just like bam, 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 bam. You're just you know changing. And when you get to Beast up, you're like whoa. Bro. That's literally the highlight of that game. But oh, but to man. actually sit there and have it be a little more um, engaging, like like mentally, like you know, or, or or even at some point, you know, like. Um, my favorite is Gauntlet. Elf is about to die. You're yeah. like, oh, damn, you're emotionally gripped. You're like, not Elf. Oh, shit. Don't take <laughs> You know what I mean? Please. That's those. Please. Not those, really. times. <laughs> <laughs> those times. Those times. Those games. Like, Holy yeah, yeah. shit. All right, right, let's up. man. I'm telling you, last look, one last thing. You go remember, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You remember them weekends. In the same area with the 94 Sega 94 NHL parties with the 40s in NHL. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you guys used to just go in. Yeah. I swear. Right. If I'm not mistaken, right that was that was uh that was what? Brian's way? No, over at Paul's way, I think. It was me, Paul, and, and uh, Jeremy would get in a little bit. It was mostly just people rolling through and getting That's in. That's awesome, game, bro. I touched you something on my screen. Care. I don't know what the hell care. happened. I just had a mini panic attack. I'm sorry, dog. That yeah. that is crazy, though. But I remember, I remember that. I remember everybody getting so like just. It would be like you would think that you were at like a high school basketball game with them. Like, oh, damn hell. Yeah, like, hey, hey, yeah. Right. That's the it. amount of energy and just yeah, man. So so that's awesome that those kind of games could could bring just bring out the that that kind of energy in people or whatever. So then it's 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 pretty rad. So yeah. those those are our personal game systems. Whoever submitted that question, thank you for your question. Yeah. Um I had one other one was uh what is what is your favorite movie studio? And after this one we'll go ahead and bring Mike on and we he can he can tap in and say what he wants, but we're going to say it first. Wow. He he might want to copy off us. I don't know. Right. Uh, and we're back. I hear so, uh, so if we, if we tap out and you guys were uh, our bad. Okay. Well, it looks like it's just me. Yeah. He's tapping around. Anyway, so favorite movie studio? That's got to be tough. My answer would probably be something like, uh, well, I think it would be Marvel Studio right now. That's the only one I can think of because that's the studio that brings me all the cool ass fucking movies and shit. I love me some Marvel movies. Like I still have yet to get on one other movie. Wait a minute. Is that Mike? He's in? Hold on. Magic what up? Mike in the house. There he is. There he, there he is. is. Hey, I'm back now. Look at uh, you. I I'm already oh, I'm gone. Here we are. Hey man. And now it's I'm here as well. Wow. Get out. Oh my god. Hello, Mike. Head, how are you? I'm Excellent. good, guys. How are you? Thank Magic you for having Mike. me. It appears. 
Oh man, you guys are all auto tuned up and fresh. It appears yeah. that YouTube is uh, having some some difficulties. I keep appearing and disappearing. I don't okay, know well, then maybe I'm are. glitching up. Something's happening in the in the YouTube Valley. All right, Steve now we're on again. Okay, there you are. Okay, Mike, favorite movie studio? Uh, I would agree with Chris, who said Marvel. So uh, whatever whatever they've given us in the last fifteen years. I, and and I didn't watch them all. Like I never went back and watched um like Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Never really yeah. saw those. But because of Avengers, mm -hmm. uh, Endgame, and and Infinity War, it made me be like, now I'm gonna go watch those just to 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 follow. Doctor Strange awesome. was another one that I wasn't really into. No, that's. But so I've watched um mm. the Guardians, and I've watched Doctor Strange, and then I just knocked out the two Spider Man movies. So Marvel has been real good to wow. us over the last Dang. fifteen years, I would say. Yeah, interesting. I like I yeah. like how you guys both went that direction. That that's cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I completely, I completely didn't even consider that. Bam, <laughs> <laughs> bam. All right, so golly, we have to reschedule for another day. Damn, they messing up your in intranet so what are. Hold on. I'm just waiting to see if it's going to hold steady. I'm going to see if she steadies out for a minute. If she steadies out, we'll go into the next topic. Okay. Everybody's cool? Everybody's floating? We're all good? Okay. 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 Nobody's glitching. All right, here we go. All right. So now let's talk about this Ghostbuster stuff that I had heard and I know you know uh, a vast amount of stuff because like I told you in the phone call earlier today, of everyone that I personally know, you are my go-to your buddy. You guys are just all glitched up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all right. So you want, to, you want me to get into this topic for him? He, he's talking about Ghostbusters, but he sounds like a Transformer. Yes, uh, he is so talking about... Ghostbusters. This time it seems that, that Madrox does have the glitch. <laughs> but, he does, man. He, he received the snap like that going back to the Marvel movies. Yeah. Um, so I know he wanted to talk about the new movie, which got pushed back. Um, okay. and, and this week makes a lot of sense because last week was like Ghostbusters Day. So there's a ton of cool Ghostbusters stuff going on right now. Like, um, you know, it's like 35 years. And um, if, you know, just like us, right? You guys did NetFest. So there's a cool, like, um, reunited apart type thing. And um, they just had everybody from the movie. Uh, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, Sigourney Weaver, Ernie Hudson, um, Ivan Reitman, yeah. and then his son, who was directing the new one. They all did a cool podcast together where they just talked for an hour about the old movie. Um, they re-released these bad boys. Hey. Look at that guy. Damn. Wow. 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 Ray. I got me Winston. So I got me some, some exclusives. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 Ghostbusters. It's, wow. it's really, uh, it's really bringing some, some of the old school stuff back. And then they're doing a lot of new stuff too. And um, my belief is that, you know, I know that they're all in it. Um, but the fact that Paul Rudd is in that movie. I feel like that's going to give it, like, not necessarily the legitimacy it needs because it will be legit, but, like, he in the preview was mm -hmm. like, oh, you guys don't remember what happened 30 years ago? So it's in that same wow. world where Marshmallow Man was destroyed, Gozer was there's, destroyed. Yeah, there's some, there's some interesting stuff. Wow. It looks cool. I've seen part yeah. of the, one of the previews, I think, on it. And it looked pretty, it looked interesting. I was going to ask us to play the fucking trailer, but I'm scared. I don't even know if we can keep live broadcasting. It appears it's taking all of our energy to broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, you got the robot this time, bro. It came, he switched. Is everybody. <laughs> okay. Holy shit! Oh man, that really was cool. great. That was just like a like a xylophone. 
<laughs> wow. It's like a 1980s video game. For sure. And you got eight bit out of us. He found the ghost. <laughs> it's like um, pixels. You ever seen a pixel movie with Adam Sandler? Scheduled for <laughs> August 7th, 2021 release. And has now been moved to October 8th. I'm referring to Ghostbusters Afterlife. Okay. Um, the the director. Oh, wait. Hey, hey guys. Hey. You're good. Just keep going. I'm referring to. Oh, man. That's cool. I was just, I, I was by myself. I was just keeping it going. I was surprised I didn't cut out. So there's that. Hey, you're there. Um, you're here with The director you. was quoted. The director was quoted as saying a bunch of stuff about how. Um, there I go. Oh. He had more time to go back and re-examine the movie and make it make it better. Which okay. we're thinking that you know, from a from a moviegoer's perspective, I would like to think that all movies that were scheduled to come out that have been respectfully pushed back would now get that same you know, fine tune, so to speak, like that. That once over again or twice over, so to speak, make sure that everything is, you know, the best it can be. So, so he said they had to wrap it and they had to put it up to the other. Yeah, basically. So they they had to read, edit some stuff. Is that what I was hearing? It's like I think uh, what what uh, he meant was, or what he said was, they are um, because it got pushed back for essentially a whole year. It gives him time to essentially go in and rewatch it and tweak some stuff and fine-tune it like jamie said it's you know equivalent to what you guys do when you guys have you know a song or a record it's like if you hear something in your final mix and you're like no no no, let me go back and recut that or let me you know send it to get mastered or whatever you can you can do some stuff to, to again make your product better yeah and, and um i hope I mean, he doesn't other edit somebody bring it in it all depends like i i want it to be good a good edit because like i said some people we're messing around talking about like uh, how, you know, how the Justice League movie turned out and then they wanted the new Zack Snyder cut. So that's what that's about. It's the same thing. So it's like you just want to make sure that you got the best cut, whatever it is. And it's, you know, a movie that's not catering to whatever the fuzzy bunny that doesn't watch the fucking movie. You know, give a right. Shit about, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not what it is. I, I, mean, and I feel like it's just going to build the suspense. Any of these movies that we knew were supposed to come out that you're like, oh, this year I was supposed to get this and now it's pushed back. It's like it's going to build it to where they almost have to deliver the best potential product. Right. Because if people are waiting that long and they get let down, you're going to lose the, you know, you're not going to lose the franchise, but like you won't get another Ghostbusters movie. Right, right. Yeah, well, so, you know, I mean, that's the difference. Like, the, in in a sense, like I said, from what I seen from the preview, it looked interesting. It was a very short preview, but it looked like the shit. It was dope. Like, you know, him. I don't know. They were showing something with it. There he is. Wow, hey, you man. look great. The barn, the barn doors were opening. <laughs> I rebooted quiet. my phone. I don't know what the fuck happened. I rebooted my phone. I'm back. I apologize if it was me. What else? Hey, you're back, um, man. It's all good. We just it's had good, a Ghostbuster conversation. We're all back. Let's do it. All right. Okay. So, so where 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 we were saying before is I thought I, I thought it was shitty how they're they're just gonna gloss over the one with the girls. I thought there was there could have been a clever that way. Shitty for sure. You know what I mean? There could have right. been a clever way. I mean, because and and this is why I come to you because you're my you're my Ghostbuster purist. See, me and Blaze, we dabble. We ride with Ernie Hudson. We're we're down by law. That's that's yeah, where we yeah, go. You yeah. know what I mean? That's how we ride. Sure, but sure. but I liked it. So they I liked it, the new offering of that. I thought it was good, they, and I think there would have been a clever way to tie it in. Maybe saying that there know, was no way to. There was no other way Ghostbusters in other cities are trying to hold the mantle. Perhaps like the Gene Paul Valley we talked last episode. Mm. Remember that? Yeah, that's where I'm yeah. going with it. I might be reaching, <laughs> but I feel that there's a better way they could have. Paid a little better. Well, the tribute. problem is, is in the girls' version, in the 2016 version of Ghostbusters, mm. they omitted the original Ghostbusters because you have Ray Stance, Dan Aykroyd himself, played a cab driver. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Then you have Ernie Hudson, who isn't a Ghostbuster. He's the uncle of the Ghostbuster who gives them the car. I like, believe you're yeah, I was gonna say he gives them the hearse, right? Yeah, you're yeah, you're ignoring the fact there, doesn't he? 
yeah, he, he, he's, he's those, in the end. Go ahead. I think, okay. Sorry. No, I, I was going to say, I thought those, those were all, those were all sweet, very um, Stan Lee-esque cameo drops for me. And, and I took them all with the grain, of, with the grain of salt, like, like I should have as a, as a fan. And I thought it was cool to see everybody, you know, pop their head in because it was supposed to be a reimagining recalibration and all those fancy words that they say of the franchise. So I get it. I, I'm not saying that I'm, I fall on deaf ears like why they didn't acknowledge it. I'm saying I feel that with a little better they story writing, they could have just incorporated it and said somehow, somehow. But anyway, that, that's, that's a whole other topic for a whole other right, podcast. Right. No, but what, what I, what I want to say also is that we know that they're going to pull a Halloween, which is um, bringing everybody back, the, the, the core of the franchise. Or they might need to. <clears throat> yeah, with yeah. the exception of uh, with the exception of Harold, no, Harold Ramis, who's obviously passed away. But yeah. I believe yeah. his tie-in is that it's his grandchildren. Oh, okay. I, I believe right. it's his grandchildren, and that's the tie-in there. I mean, it's and you're, I just want to see Ernie. We just got to make sure Ernie's in there. That's all I gotta say. Like Ernie, he'll be yeah. there. And but I, I, I am, I'm feeling, I'm feeling bad. Drax a little bit. Like, dude. You know, it's weird that they can't tie in anything with that. But with like, the chicks, yeah, they did. They did. I don't, you know. Fair enough. Yeah. But but to know, but to know that they went back for the original cast and they got Murray, Aykroyd. Hudson, Sigourney Weaver, everybody's on board, but but Rick the Dick Moranis, which like, blows my mind. Coming man. back, dude. Hey, Amen. He said he said Lewis Tully is out of this bitch, which is he sad because he was a super underrated character at the time. Mm -hmm. That became huge, and I mean Ghostbusters. I'm not gonna say made his career, but propelled him into. That I mean, you know, it's tough. look, it's tough because Rick Moranis like left Hollywood almost out of necessity. Like he, you know, I don't know if he wanted to, but he didn't want to raise, he didn't want anybody else raising his kids. And I think his wife passed away, yep. like at the height of yeah. everything, and he just kind of left Hollywood. So he hasn't really done much of anything, I think, because of this. Like I, I, right. I was reading I just, that, about I was like, it's weird that you don't see him in more shit. Yeah, no, 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 agree, it's agree, like, but, but it was, you know, something crazy had to happen for sure. And I but think the touch, that's what it was. For but real, the I touch back on what Mike was saying about about it solidifying his 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 persona or him as an actor. Damn, being, after he died being attached, attached, I was right. Yes, Chris I was just going to say, just said, it. what is it? Chris what happened? just said it. Rick's wife stopped doing movies after his wife died of cancer. That's what yeah. I thought. It was something, yeah. There you go. And I commend Damn him it. as a father and a human being for being like, I'm going to put my career on hold to raise my kids. On hold. It's like, you're not going to come right. back for the 35-year anniversary of Ghostbusters? I mean, you never know. I would like to see face in there. I just, I'm telling you, I just, I, there were, there's reasons why he left Hollywood. He didn't just leave it because he was like, fuck it. He just, you know, he made his money and his coin and he was like, I'm going to go raise my kids and fucking live. Yeah. He just did I it. Feel it. Man. It's uh, weird. I think that, I think that it's, uh, it's, it's, sad. it's, it's see? cool to be. JJ says it's yeah. sad. <sighs> Jeez. It's, it's, it's one of those, it's one of those situations where being attached, to a great franchise is a great thing. It's a great yeah. thing. You know what I mean? It's it it's 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 probably the core of, of, yeah, of a lot of people today. Man, like you never know. He still might come back though. That that'd be that'd be awesome. But like I said, you can't bring Harold. Is back he doing that, that for you too, you know, Mike? What's that? Say it again. I can, he's locked. He's frozen. He's auto tuning. I just want to know if y'all is it me if right now? Am I frozen? Mm -mm. No, you're not frozen, and neither is he. So it's something on your end. Cause I can see right. you both. Wow. I see all three of you perfectly. Now I see and now just you're gone. Two. Yeah, just the two of us again. <laughs> but no. So in, in regards to uh, Rick Moranis, <laughs> if he's the only one that they don't get, like I get it. Um, it will be sad, but he wasn't as prevalent because he was always supporting. He wasn't a real Ghostbuster. You know, I don't know what kind of role Janine is going to have in the movie, but without her, you know what I'm saying? Like. It, it, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, 
There he is. Right there he is. Hey man, I'm gonna and keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going until the fucking two hours are up, dude. I'm gonna get just glutton for punishment. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't understand. It's never. We've never got to this severity before, so I don't know what kind of. No, crazy I want to hear what you, I want to hear what you were talking about with the figures. I want to see the figures that Mike was talking about because for sure. we had them, and I, we you never got to see them because you kept glitching and, and everything was switching. So let's get back. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this guy. Look okay. at this. Damn. I never yeah. now are those as a kid. I never are those had, the like, new Target? This, no, this is Walmart exclusive, right? Walmart exclusive. So, um, this is the pre-order Holy box shit. that it came in, which, uh -huh, is, which uh -huh. is the get. And this is how they sent it to Yo. me. Look at that bubble. Look at that. Look at that card. Is that card waving at you, <laughs> my Danny? You know what? Whoa! And then I've and heard then, I've heard that there's there's actually like some sort of internet petition going around to uh, to have the company. It's Mattel now, right? It's Mattel, and they own Kenner. They bought them out, right? So it's, okay, this is like legit. Like it says no. the old school eighty shit all over it, but it's like. Uh -huh. No, it's like, no. it's a great, it's a, it's a great reproduction. It's a great facsimile. It's a great, you know, you can, wow. They even got the actual, the, the, the little twirly sticks in the back to make the fucking thing spin around yeah. to hit the ghost. Yeah, they great. Yeah, they All got, that's yeah. great. Your little, that guy right there. You got to have yep. the jar of ectoplasm so you can put all your ghosts in there and everything. Yeah, those, those were, those were great, great fun as kids. I think though, but, but, but the shitty damaged product that they're sending out to people it's not just you i've seen like people on on message boards and shit really really heated and and like trying to get people to sign like some sort of petition and have mattel give them some of their money back or or let them send the products back and have them replace them with with mint packages which that makes it weird too because it's like think about that so what are they to do are they to open them all up and then recard them and then send no, them back because out. then you'd have to send it back right. to the manufacturer. At that point, they're just gonna either discard them or put them on sale, and you'll get them for what half wow. price or you know five bucks off. So, so in so so in hindsight, you're probably going to uh, have a great a great valuable item in having a perfect set of those because knowing that almost five six of them on the marketplace have been kicked to shit. Right. By right. Walmart. And By, is is it one? Walmart? Are we, are we <laughs> looking? Walmart, Walmart exclusive. Yeah. Look at this. Wow, this is, dude. This is, uh, this is what I bought it's at the store. Wow. Sitting, sitting on the bottom of it's the fucking so, the, oh, I Damn, it's there. so fucking important. It's oh, so shit. very important to have collectors on your team. For whatever you do, like it's so very important to have collect like people, people that have passion and pride in their collection. Those are the type of people that you want on your team because they pay attention to shit like that. You know what I mean? Detail. Like if it if, if it's a Funko Pop, they'll they'll like you know ship it in a protector. You know that's the mm -hmm. new step up. And 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 kudos to all those people out there who are uh, who are making protectors for some of these toys. Like there's there's a, a protector. I want to say it's um. There's the it's Zolo either, world. I was going to say it's yep. either Zolo or, or, or another one, uh, Toy Shield, I believe, is another another brand that does great products. Um, oh, yeah. that offer They offer a great line of just like all – they're all um, – what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh, you can use them for several different figures. So They're interchangeable for different product lines. Yeah, oh, perfect. And so, so like you can do one for Ghostbusters that also works with your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Right, Turtles, right, like right. I believe, I believe the standard the standard Ninja Turtle one also uh, will hold like the Hasbro Dub Dub E or Dub Dub F rather. Um, yep. Old school Hasbro guys. They're like and, the same and everything card. from Playmates. Like it also does for the sure. Hockey yeah, exactly, Raiders. exactly. Yeah. Pretty much everything across that kept that standard card size. So yeah, so those those are like you know awesome, but but to see just 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 how fucking people don't care. Like I remember seeing people going in on um, I'm, and that's why I thought it was Target initially because people were going in on Target once upon a time because they did uh, they had a great a great not just one but like five different badass exclusives. And everybody who got their pro their their products were just like you know doing a unboxing videos and straight to live and just like cutting things open and you're like the look of just you know like all that's in there is one piece of little crunched up paper and this fucking 
Funko Pop just sliding all around in the box like a pinball and, you know, all fucked up. The corners are nothing, nothing mint. And it's like to people who are out there looking for that, you know, they, they want that sharpest example of what they can have for their collection. Yeah. And in some cases, we'll pay a really nice premium to have that. So if you are out there right now in the comments, we want to know if you got a sharp set of these Walmart exclusive yes. Ghostbuster redos. What are we calling them? Retro? I, retro I mean, they're boys. retro. Yeah, because they released retro. them with the retro, with the retro uh, Star Wars guys, you know, the ones that came out. Yeah, you know, with the first yeah movie. I've seen that. So I've seen that. That was the huge okay. thing at Toy Fair. In February, when I fucking pre-ordered this shit, and um, yeah, and and so now even with these boys, if you go buy them at Walmart today, it no longer says mm -hmm. who you're gonna call. They've already come out with a second wow. variant in the packaging, a so, second printing, if you will. Yes, yeah, man. man. Yeah, so it's that's it's, crazy. You know, and that's the the weird completist so, like me. I gotta have that, and then. There's a European card which has four Come different on. languages on. I swear to you, Jamie. There's already three versions of this toy, and it you came think, out like damn. If you making see, it worth more or worth less. What, what I is? understand that's the that's European question, cards Blaise. are going to be worth the most. That's it. No, Blaze has got it. Blaze has got a great point because what I was going to say is, for my buck, I would I would rather invest in the '80s. Um, I believe there's like an ectoplasm edition that are a little more affordable on card. Mm -hmm. Those ones you showed, the original ones of those are like in the neighborhood of three fifty to five hundred dollars a card, if nice. If graded right, all right. day, five hundred bucks a guy. But oh, yeah. if you have them, because there's there's a there's a particular like you said with that uh, there's a particular thing with them a variant on them that I want to say the font that their name is written in if it's if it's white. It's first print. If it's yellow, if it's yellow, it's second. It's second. And is that how it goes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can tell in the backs, and yeah, like man. behind it's, the guys. One no, it was like it's the shit purple. right above the. Yeah, you're talking right here. It, yeah, yeah, right there. Yep. It, but it wasn't yep. like that. Appears to be like a, a grouping of words. Like this was just. It would have just said, you know. Ray Stance, or you know, yeah. or whatever. You know, I was like, Bill Murray. <laughs> like, yeah. I would have never said Bill Murray. But you yeah. it. Bill right. Murray. But, but like, like where their name was, and, and, and like, I remember saying that to somebody, and they were like, holy fuck, hot, like, thanks for that information, because it's kind of like when somebody put you up in the comic book game and says that, hey, newsstand comic books are worth more in some, some regards, because they're more susceptible to be destroyed on the racks where like a, a direct edition yeah. is more, yeah. everything is perfect and straight to a bag and a backboard, the chances of finding one, you know what I mean? So the, obviously everything is going to, everything is a 9.8, everything. Well, that's Walmart. the opposite with Walmart. The shit at the store is better than the shit you pre-order because <laughs> they don't care. Yeah, they're and like that's, and, and so, it out and punch it a couple of times across the parking lot. Give it a couple, <laughs> then they give it a it couple good socks in the car. And they shove it in the fucking box and they send the <laughs> box to the postman and then you oh get it goodness. a couple weeks later. Wow. And, and we're then talking, that shit gets returned. Geely. <laughs> and we're, yeah, for Geely, for sure. And we're not talking just one dog ear in the corner. That's the whole top of the car curled over like a right, lunch right, sack. Right. It's, oh, this, and you know what? It's cool because this is like, I have four of these. Now I have gone everywhere and I had one sent to me. This bitch is getting open. Like, we're going to open this in July. Right that's on, like, man. you know what, though? It's it's like, that's right. No, that's our new, that's going to be our new thing. Like, what's what's he doing? Oh, he's in the toy aisle, lunch sack, and all the things. Who runs he? He's just going yeah. like this to all the tops of the car because he's angry because the fucking, ah! God damn it. So yeah, yeah, so but I don't know. There's there's a uh, there's a there's a great Instagram account called uh, Figure Swap. I think is what it is, and it, it goes to show there's there is a, uh, a a select people who will obviously if you collect like Marvel Legends. I know Blaze used hey, to what? go extra cred with Marvel I Legends. I did, I did, and and there's still got a few. Still got a few here. I got a few. You know, what I've noticed with with stuff like that and a lot of the wrestling guys is it's not so much like package driven, like like meaning like like the 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 continuity of a package, like 
everything, as long as it's proportionate, people don't give a shit because most people are like out of box collectors. Where to me, that's like, oh, how dare you? You know what I mean? You have to buy I mean, two. The, You're gonna the type of figures are cool for that. They look sweet. for sure. Like, and no, agree, agree. Look dope. You know, you get Agreed. Iron Man and Iron Fist sitting next to each other on a shelf, and no. it almost looks like a fucking statue. You're like, that's it's dope. Cool. No, it's dope. Yeah. And yeah, and with with some of the cool dioramas and shit like that. And now there's a couple um. There's a couple places that offer these. Um, they're like accessory packs if you like to set up scenes. So like you can get like add on bullets and like, you know, like energy blasts from the hand. So you can mm -hmm. really set up a killer display and it's like shit like that. But, but, but what's so awesome about this one particular Instagram account is that it goes to show the type of people who will go to the Walgreens and they, they'll take the, the, the build a figure piece out of it and replace Ooh. it with something else and then return it. And it's like, and that's, and that's the thing, like this guy or, or this guy, this gal, this, this person, these people are always out in the wild and they always photograph all of the, the, the shit that people like that, the, the returns, so to mm -hmm. speak. So it's like, and then obviously now it's a thing and other people from around the world are sending this account, other pictures of look what I found in CVS today or whatnot. And it'll just be like something so stupid. It'll be like a Marvel legend uh, package for Dr. Strange, but it'll have like a, a, a Tim Drake DC direct figure just jammed in it. Right, or it'll be like right. Val Venus. It'll be a Jack specific Val <laughs> Venus just jammed in that bitch. And you're like, I would buy that wow. as a misprinted variant. Wow, yeah, you know, is real. <laughs> and shame on the person who actually buys it with that intention. Shame on the yeah, person yeah. who returned it with that intention, but even double shame on the no, who buys it I after feel like Jesus props Christ. to the person who returned it for getting away with it, and shame on the employee who took that how, return. I'll have you know they have his name, sir. How did <laughs> why? Because I remember. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How withdrawn from the situation was said employees in any of these accounts that they were just like, seems good to me. <laughs> like, you didn't match it up. I mean, I'm sure you don't give a fuck about Marvel or DC, but you didn't even match up the name to the fucking, you didn't Google the character. Like, what the hell? It's, it's, it's a leg that they stole off of Val Venus and threw it in there. <laughs> like, here you go. That's so great. No, I'm going to, I'm actually going to, uh, I'll share a post from them or whatever with you guys so you can see it and we'll, we'll put it, uh, we'll put it up on one of our Instagram accounts so you can check it out. But like, it's, it's, it's worth a view, just just the, the the concept of these fucking people and and some of the shit that they're willing to do to, uh, I guess, build the build a figure or to obtain yeah. the one piece they want but not want the rest. I don't know. It's it's crazy. Yeah, that's dick, um, I don't know. If you're gonna I don't do know, we, I don't know if we ever got to cover this because it was so glitchy and now it's actually running smooth. So I don't know if it was the the ghostly uh, uh, topic that we were talking about. But again, back with that real quick. No, I was also ahead. told after after bringing everybody back from the franchise, I was also told that they were taking a page out of the uh, Star Wars Force Awakens vibe, where it's really about the old characters coming in and solidifying the next gen of. Busters. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, like, I believe I believe it'll be like a passing of the torch type thing. Yeah, yeah. that's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like I told Chris, I think that in the movie it's gonna be um Harold Ramis or Egon Spangler's like grandkids that like fire yeah. up the car and they drive yeah. around and they get schooled okay. by Paul Rudd, the teacher. And I feel like there's gonna be some like and it'd be dope. I'm not gonna lie, it would be dope. Oh, that's like awesome. A, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man or a Slimer wow. Part Two guy, where they're like, "Oh, we gotta battle this fucking ghost," and then the wow. Ghostbusters show up, school them, and they learn, and then you know they ride off into the sunset. I have, and a, feeling, I have a feeling with those kind of movies, a lot of the times, everything that you just described will be in the last seven minutes of the movie, and it will be a very long, drawn out popcorn movie at best. Yeah, I, I hope I hope for better things. This this next I mean, thing if it that I was sets it up for a if it sets it up for a another one, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. but the gold Fair in enough. the original two Ghostbusters movies was the love uh, comedic stylings and the ad libbing, and yeah. Yeah. I don't know that you're gonna get that out of teenage actors. It's isn't it isn't it one of the kids from Stranger Things, Stranger Things or whatever? Uh, I don't know. 
I want to say, I want to say it's, I swear it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's like Mike or somebody from Stranger Things, one of the kid actors from there. Um, anyway, this 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 touches this next little rumor uh, piece of information I have here will will excite you and uh, and tantalize your your Ghostbuster fantasies here because this is this is this is what brought me back around to the whole concept and why I wanted to talk about this and because I'm sure it's going to get Blaze hype as well. But it, rumor has it that the movie will also address the death of, of Harold Ramis in, uh, in the acknowledgement of Egon Spangler's uh, absence. They're going to acknowledge his absence in some way. This is just the rumor that's, that's kicking so. around. That's what's They're going to, like, that's if sweet. you remember in, in, in the girl version, there was a head bust of, of him and he was like the dean or the something of the school and they had, they mm -hmm. had you know, paid homage to him in that regard. In yep. this storyline, it appears that we're getting rumors of that that his actual character, they're going to acknowledge his absence, and that it's going to be a very important factor in upcoming films, plural. Mm -hmm. So you okay. will get your sequel. At least they are they are on it. You might not get it. Well, who knows? I don't want to say. I don't want to jinx it. But it looks like what you're saying and what this is saying if you actually put those two speculations together you might come up with an idea that this is going to be like a two three movie deal they're going to lay the brickwork in part one just like you know at, there's going to be an adversary i think i think what would be cool is if they actually went and did a different kind of i, I like your idea about bringing the stay puff marshmallow back or, or even cool. slimer those are those are there but i think i think so many people love the uh the 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 what were they the the Zul the, the gatekeeper and fucking um what was it those oh, are oh. those are the Gozarian those are yeah 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 fuck yeah those I knew are, that those are and uh, the key master the, the key dog. master and the gatekeeper yes, yes. and yes. I just I think I think I'm hoping <laughs> this is here's here's my last we'll leave this we'll leave the topic with this last thing this is my this is my last speculation comma hope is that when they bring back in Sigourney Weaver's character, and if it does pick up after, they're saying after one and two, I don't know why, what, what happened with three? I guess that's, <laughs> there is no three. Is there a three? No, there's no, no. three. Paul keeps saying that. Three. Three. <laughs> Justin, somewhere, like, there's a three. Isn't there a three? He had me believe yeah, yeah, it for almost did, two years. Because we used to tell him that it was a game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough, and you're right though. You're right, yeah, and that's so, actually so long on that. That's true. Look, He's got. A, he has a very valid point. That, that. The, the game, much like a lot of these other, uh, a lot of these other big, big storylines, played a big part in that in establishing and fleshing out those characters to a whole other generation um, that probably never would have gave the movie the time of day. So that's pretty cool. Um, and. Uh, yeah, man, I think that's great. I hope. I hope. My last thing is, I hope that they bring Sigourney Weaver's character in, and I hope that maybe, just maybe, she's having more premonitions from the the gatekeeper and the and the Gozar the Gozarian, and oh, that, that rooftop hey, landscape what, what, scene. What? Remember that yeah. door that, that was opening? Had to be her grandkid or some shit. <laughs> well, and she did have a kid in that one too, right? With the uh, with the wall, the drape. Yeah, right. Had to so be maybe. Kid, he, kid. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, she had a, a some, kid with there's some interesting movie, groundwork yeah. for a good story. Yes. Well, Oscars. Yeah, Oscars. They, they, they Oscars. actually went through and, and two number two went by. So you remember they were singing that happy song in New York to get the fucking slime to go back down. Shit. I watched yep. <laughs> you're right. I watched <laughs> I watched this this uh I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like uh it was something to do obviously with Ghostbusters, but they wanted they did it was like they couldn't call it Ghostbusters or they didn't want to call it Ghostbusters. They wanted to call it Ghost Chasers or some, something like that because it was – there is a, a filmation cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, you know about it. I remember hearing that. We we're going to be done with it, but yeah. this, is, this is important. The filmation cartoon, and they were worried about the lawsuits. So that's where you got your – the real Ghostbusters as opposed to – The filmation, filmation cartoon was original and from the 70s, and the oh. Columbia Pictures – had to pay Filmation to use the name Ghostbusters for the movie. Wow. Then, when the movies Steven. did well, they screwed over Filmation and said, we didn't make any money. Filmation was like, we're coming out with a cartoon. Thus, wow. Ghostbusters was owned by Filmation. That's, that's why this motherfucker is a real 
Ghostbusters. Real. Oh, yeah. Real. That's oh, awesome. there's some, yeah. There's some that info. Cool. Yeah. No, no, no man. I'm, I'm really to that info. For. If you if you know of the other Ghostbusters that we're talking about, any and all of the collectibles, any of the toys, any of the lunch boxes, any of that stuff is superior value. Like I can't even express to you how much money people want for loose action figures. Do you remember that one? It, it was me and Mike and George and a couple other people. We were at this toy show and I was like, holy fuck, I'm going to buy it. They had um, the, the main villain. He's like a red cloaked guy. He kind of mm -hmm. looks like Dr. Doom a bit. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I want that. I want that. He's so fresh. I remember that cartoon. And the guy's like, Oh, that's two hundred and twenty dollars. I was like, "Damn, where's the box?" Like, it was <laughs> no, nope, you're right. You don't even need box yourself. And, yeah, and he's on some fuck. You find it, and and literally yeah. when I when I went Pretty to good. work, I was like, "Wow, I really, I really got educated really fast to what how much some of these loose action figures can cost, especially from stuff that's like obscure like that." That's a yeah. very dedicated following. It's not the broad. hundred percent. Because like the real. Me, I won't mess with those toys because that's yeah. not what my Ghostbusters is. Like, you know, they've got, the, and it's cool. The car was cool and the house wasn't. Uh, got, uh, yeah, no, the, the, the house was dope. Yeah. So it's like, it's cool shit. But yeah. it's like, that didn't appeal to me. I never watched that shit. Interesting. Yeah. That makes sense. Absolutely interesting. So right, I'm gonna go round it out. The real Ghostbusters cartoon is what you're saying. It's gonna I'm, gonna yeah. save, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save my bat and my Batman uh, news for Blaze's uh, show. I'm gonna yeah. fucking. I'm gonna say right now. I got well. I got you guys here. I'm gonna bust out this this very short list of. Uh, uh, I have a fatter whack PlayStation Five fatter whack. Oh, I was gonna talk about that. It's coming out November fifteenth. I would say it's gonna be fat. I hear. I hear Same. good. Fat. I'm reading good things. I'm here. I'm reading that they are that it's going to be cheap in price next to some of the other consoles that are out there, or close in price, whatever. And it's it's gonna go do next level shit. So yeah, I think it's fat. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Fat. Uh -huh. What about fat. you, Mike? I'm gonna go with fat. Like honestly, I haven't fucked with PlayStation since PlayStation Two. But wow. to me, PlayStation was always ahead of the curve in regards to before Xbox came out. So they get a fat wow. money. Well, I have another one here too. It was Xbox reveal. Is that a thing? Whoa. Uh, Xbox is that, is that a game system? Reveal a new Xbox is what you're saying? I Are don't know. It was written down. It was written down as Xbox reveal. I assume that was like a new division of Xbox, like the newest Whoa. one or. Oh, just, I, so, okay, then fucking just into, Xbox, then the most recent Xbox. I'm going to look into some things, but I, I always the Xbox. Said, I'm going to look into some things. It is, it is, it is, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm with the game too. systems like that. I got I got two this or that. So we got a Whataburger or In or Out. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's going to be, I guess, both I'm going to say. Ooh, both of them are derailing your night. In, 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 in and Out. In and Out. In I'm going out. In and Out. Yeah, in and out. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, in and out, I would probably pick that as well because uh, Whataburger has been dubbed as Waterburger. Right. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Matt Nips has much had like many yes. times called it Waterburger. Yes, and, 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 much, and it wasn't just because yes. he had it wrong in the name, like he no, like no, they had no, usually no. had. It was that it it's had an effect on him. Kind of eating said burgers. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like when, kind of like how Paul says that all crepe cases should, should come with a roll of toilet paper. It's, yes, it's, yes. It's a, I've heard that expression yes, as well. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Okay, and this one is a tough one. This one is this one comes from uh, fat kids around the globe worldwide. The epic battle: uh, grilled cheese or mac and cheese. Whoa. Go ahead and mac talk and about cheese. yourself. Figure it out. See what your life does. That's I easy. Know, mac and cheese, brother. I'm oh, gonna, yeah, I think I'm going to say uh, mac and cheese as well. I am going to up the ante and say a grilled mac and cheese. Oh, grilled mac and cheese. What? <laughs> Damn, he just blew the whole place. I've had Man. it before. It's good as hell, too. I'm saying it's, it's, probably, it's probably like legit. Like if you had a fucking panini press... And 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 you 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 man having a panini press you can make all kinds of cool little little right. melted sandwiches. Put together some shit. Said so you can put together some artisan shit, Flair. Yo, since you were kicking well, out well, this or that, so let me kick you guys one. We were talking okay. Ghostbusters. How about the real Ghostbusters or X Men the animated series? 
X Men the animated series. I didn't even have to think about it. I didn't even. Oh, was... uh, that's so tough for me oh. because those that those are my shits. Um, I gotta breath. go with. I gotta go with uh, from a cartoon standpoint, Ghostbusters. From a action figure standpoint, X Men. Oh, yeah. Why you gotta reverse it? No, the X Men yeah, toys suck. The X Men? Are you insane, sir? No, you wait, had the they're Jamal, cool. They're big cool. boys. You had They're so cool. many different figures. You but, had different on, versions. On articulation, on articulation and overall playability, they were a very cheap Wait, toy you're biz. Me, toy biz you're knew how to make it look like other shit. You're telling me that Wolverine was less less detailed than that? Come on now. Man, I don't know. Nobody no, Wolverine, Wolverine, had, Wolverine was had. maybe maybe you could move him. You might have been able to do his arms like this guy. You could do he this had guy. The, he had the operating fingers. There were more <laughs> there were more bad guys. You didn't Fair have enough. your boring ass ghost. You have apocalypse, magneto. Yeah. You, you got I'll some give good you that. I'll give you that. Right. A character so, selection alone, X-Men would have won a toy battle. That, that's a given to me. X-Men would just but but the X Men will definitely win it. But Ghostbusters had cooler toys, and they had slime. Okay, I, think. I don't know. That might be the age old argument. I let like us know the in the comments below. But, yeah, yeah. Hey, let, let me, us know in the comments below let which let me, one do you think had cooler toys? Uh, uh, was the X Men or Ghostbusters? Part. Let me Go give you one more, just just because we got a minute left. About get it, and that this one's going to be tough. To also, I think. How about Batman the animated series or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Wow. Ninja Turtles, baby. All day. Ninja Turtles all day. From toys Man. to the show to the fucking theme song. Ooh. You cannot fuck with Ninja that's Turtles. Tough, that's tough as hell, yo. Ali, that's a tough one. It might um, be tougher for the Bat Demon Madrox over there. You, the man, Ninja I'm trying Turtles, to tell you. Michelangelo. Because... And the only reason, the only reason is because, uh, seriously, is is because the animated series had such a such a great redefining moment for the franchise. Oh, I got to pick that characters. I got to um, pick it. I got to pick Ninja it. Turtles it was, is, Ninja Turtles is more iconic and classic because it stood the test of time. That Batman animated true. series is coming gone. That Ninja Turtles shit. The Batman, the Batman animated series laid the groundwork, laid the groundwork for Batman Brave and the Bold, Batman Beyond, uh, uh, Batman the New Adventures with, with, with little Tom um, Robin. I mean, you're not wrong. As, but as did, on. as did the Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Turtles to like four different uh, incarnations of them over the years. Yeah, so those are to the newest one we have now, where good. Raphael is like the biggest turtle. Goddamn it! Yes. Yeah. What do you say? I'm he, telling you, my, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I gotta go with Batman the animated series only because of the characters that it involved. Because there were so many spread throughout the thing. Uh, I, I, let me do one for you game. guys. The and Rogues it, Gallery was lit, dude. They had everybody, yeah, dude. They everybody. Had face. They had everybody in there, bro. It was, it was stupid. It was stupid. It's like something agreed. that you no, always imagine agreed. when you watch the movies. That's what you imagine seeing Batman fighting a bunch of people or these Absolutely. people in his world. It's not like you got to go through one movie and just see Joker or Riddler or Two Face and you don't see anybody else. Let's also. Are all over. I was say, let's. You know, it's like, Right. No, I was gonna say let's also not forget that that the animated series also laid the groundwork for I want to say it's it want to say three, but I know for sure it was two feature films. One of them being Sub Zero, and the other one being Mask of the Phantasm. Yeah, which dude, both were like yeah. on, on par for, for I mean, I love cinematic King King Turtles. <laughs> for sure. No, so, hey, but but the turtles, the turtles. You know, hey man. You for you man? guys, I got one because this is your guys' shit. All right, are you okay. ready? Yes. We're gonna go with. Masters of the Universe or Thundercats? Ooh. Thundercats. I'm gonna go. Really? That was yeah, quick. I can't even think. That was quick. It it's has to be tough, quick. It's tough for me. I would. I think I would have to say. Uh, man, yeah. I, I think I would say. I'm, I'm gonna say Thundercats too. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> because. Fuck uh, yeah! Good man. choice. Listen. They, as, I had a, they, they, as, they brought them back in toys, right? And I had opportunities yeah. to buy both. And what did I pick? I picked the lion o. Oh. For real. For real. <laughs> like, yes. The the idea, the idea that like Thundercats did 
what a lot of other franchises tried to do at the time. And they kind of took a page from what Star Wars was doing. So you got Jaga, which is like your Obi-Wan Kenobi. And you got young Lion O, who's like Luke Skywalker, who's trying to figure out how to use the Sword of Omens, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. his lightsaber. Yep. And, you know, and you just have this 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 total cast of awesome characters, not saying that He-Man wasn't a cab. The Masters of the Universe, pardon me, wasn't a cavalcade of great characters with either um, man or or at the end of their names. <laughs> I would have said, see, and I would have said I'm bigger into the Masters of the Universe, but that's wow. because I think of my age. No, it's that's like great they, though. They but, I, but I can't front though. though. That's they ruined their movie, like completely ruined the movie. So that kind of was How like, yeah. are you kidding? <laughs> How dare you? It was, I mean, it wasn't it all was, his it was, fault. It was like the fault of whoever was writing and doing the stuff because they, they wanted to change things and they didn't want certain things to be shown. They didn't think that people could understand the fantasy of this world, although there's been thousands of movies of fantasies upon more different worlds. Thousands I of think that you had to bring it to America. You had to bring it to <laughs> Earth. Who gets I think it? that. I think that that somebody had a, like like a real passion for Flash Gordon or or either that or Flash Gordon did well in its returns that someone was like make it like Flash Gordon. Yeah. Cuz it's got yeah. a lot of that like Ming the Merciless kind of you know what I mean? Like they made they made Skeletor kind of minged out and, and he's got like all of the, the he doesn't have his stormtroopers and all that shit. It's like it's the same deal. You know, it's like this Darth Vader kind of vibe. And um yeah, I don't know. I, I thought was Skeletor okay. was dope in the movie. I thought he was Skeletor good. was dope in the movie. I'll give you that. Skeletor was dope in the movie. It looked cool. Will, it looked good, Wildor yeah. looked like shit. It was very awkward. Uh, they yeah. created characters. That's yeah. the first yeah. sign. That's the fucking first sign of unconfident shit. Right. When you have a right. cavalcade of established characters and you make up a motherfucker to appease somebody on 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 yep. the fucking it's green true. light team. It's the green light yeah. team says they gotta have a little small guy who plays a Casio keyboard. Make it happen, or this fucking movie doesn't see a goddamn. <laughs> was it a keyboard from here to anywhere? It's it wasn't. It wasn't like sure it. enough. <laughs> it might have been a bad one. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, it's like I honestly feel like that's that's how these fucking things get put into into reality. It's like it's it's to it's some sort of making someone happy or something like that. Where it, those characters could have been taken out and replaced with anybody cool, anybody right. cool. It's true. You it's know? true. There are a lot of they got a thousand, like we said. There's a lot. Yeah, there's Trap a thousand. Jaw. Thinkor. They Chris did have Beast Man. <laughs> they did have Beast Man, but then they had that weird Hawk guy with that man. Yeah. <laughs> Hawk man. Ram <laughs> man. Ram man. No, they could have made it cool. Thing. You're right. <laughs> oh, like Hawk man was Stratos, but yeah, same diff. But you know, yeah, there you right. Go. right. There you no go. shit. Stratos. But that's awesome though. So it's good. It's good to know that uh that that we all like. Thundercats just a little bit more than uh, than Mike does, and it's also good to know that Mike likes Ghostbusters just a little bit more than X Men, the animated series. Wow, these are the hard in my death. There are so many Ghostbusters toys. This is great. This is great. You gotta fun. love it. Well, thank you, Mike, for stopping by and hanging yeah. out with us. Thank you, Blaze, as always. Um, don't forget, we got yeah. uh. Come Damn man, talking coming right up, right after this right 15 minutes. Um, we're gonna touch on some more fun shit. Um, um, sorry about all the uh technical gift difficulties we experienced today. We still had a good time. It was like, yeah, come beautiful. That shit happened. Thank y'all for joining us, and um, we out of here.